This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Bye now, you two take care. Of course we will, thanks. Thank you, sir. I'm not a sir quite yet. <laughs> I can keep I can't keep up with these kids. Did that guy just leave us behind? Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Grandia. In the last episode, we got some information about a man who uh, might have a steamer pass for us, so we headed on to the uh, uh, the mines here uh, through cable car. But how are we supposed to get back exactly? Well, if we if you want, let's run back to the uh, off the map here really quick. Yeah, we can uh, go back to town if we want to, even though I guess it's assumed we get back on the train, but I just kind of find that funny. Also, there was another little bit of extra dialogue I missed. If you go into the uh, ticket counter without actually talking to the man for the tickets, uh, I'll show that off really quick. Okay, so uh, if we walk into the gate without talking to the guy, Justin, you have no patience at all. Impatience on an adventure is taboo. Come on, Justin, let's buy our tickets. So I thought I'd show that off really quick. Okay, well anyway, we've now at the Lec Mines here, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, they said it was abandoned in the last episode. It used to be like a coal mine or something like that, so... I wonder if we could find something else like diamonds and stuff. Hmm? How do we get inside? Huh, well, let's take a look around. Oh, someone's cabin here. Hello? Well, maybe the uh, man inside will... Uh, you know, the guy we're supposed to be given the... Uh, gonna show off my inventory real quick since we lose it like almost immediately there afterwards oh, I guess it's in the other uh, item so yeah uh, the Java's wallet so take take his forgotten wallet back so I gotta remind myself to uh, dump a lot of this stuff uh, because we're gonna have uh, items to go through uh, let's see actually I might just do that well before we go into the mine I'll dump that all off so yeah, I forgot to dump off my excess items, because there's going to be quite a few we find in the mine here. Huh, no one's home. How careless. Ah, uh, well, I'll just leave his wallet here. Drop his wallet left. Hey, you! Who are you barging into my castle like this? Why, you are a couple of thieves! Get away from my wallet! Yowzers! No, you got it all wrong. We just came to get a pass. No, no, Justin. He'll mis misunderstand you. His wallet... Wallet! <laughs> Let it ship, did you? You can't be too careful nowadays. Come on, give it up quiet. Give up quietly. I'll cut out your rotten hearts. Say, Justin, is this man really Mr. Java? Sure, he used to be an adventurer. Hey there, little girl. You used to be an adventurer. Bah! Used to be. Ha! I'm an active adventurer even now. You look like a crazy old coot to me. Wow, you have really good ears. Actually, kind of his design kind of reminds me of Don Quixote. I wonder if that's where his, his the style behind him is behind. It probably is, actually. Excuse me, we came to ask you a favor, Mr. Java. Actually, explanation off screen. And that's the story. You didn't say anything. You just sat down and said that was the story. What's wrong with these children today? No, I'm just kidding. I see. You want my past in the new world? Hmm. Now, boy, let me ask you one thing. What will you do on the new world? I want to go east. I want to head for the Angelou waiting me on the new world. What? Angelou, you say? <laughs> that takes the cake. <laughs> oh, come on. It's no joke. Yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Angelou? Angelou really exists. I know it. Yeah, a crazy, a crazy uh, a computer lady told me about it. That's not weird at all. Jeez, I wonder how much that armor he uh, is wearing, uh, how much that weighs, so. I understand you just fine. Depending on the circumstances, I might just give you my pass. Really? So give me, thank you. Don't be ridiculous. Who said you're getting it for free? Overcome the trial before you, you may get what you desire. Your eternal reward. That's the way of an adventurer. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, all right. I'll take on that trial. That's right. No problem, right, Dresden? Well said. Ne listen, never lose that spirit. <laughs> well, I'll give you a trial. Follow me. We're going to the mines and back. Come on, no dilly dally. All right. Follow the old man. Sounds like a choo choo train. All right. Well, before we follow him to the train, I'm going to go dump my stuff off at the item store because I forgot to do that. So, I decided to show off what happens if you go back to uh, Moms to Eat before you actually go through the uh, events because there's some extra dialogue you get for doing that. So, I heard you guys took Mr. Java's wall back to him, right? You did good. I'm impressed. As your reward, you can have as many helping as you want. Just don't eat yourself sick. Puff, puff, puff. That job was pretty strange, huh? When he thought we were thieves, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, he certainly was quite scatterbrained. Okay, I think that's it, so. Alright. Now tomorrow we definitely have to go see Mr. Job at the Lech Mines. Yeah, there's like so much just like random stuff you can miss if you don't actually, like if you actually go back and check with things, you know, like, uh, I'm surprised the game does that. Like, I know it's an RPG and there's supposed to be like reactions from people and stuff like that, but it's just, you know, I don't know, just something about like the game makers thinking of these things while doing it. Because a lot of people would just, just go, well, no one's ever going to go back. Well, let's not worry about that, you know. I mean, it makes the world feel more uh, livable and believable. I know, it's a lot of extra work for, like, that 1% of people uh, checking it out, you know, so. What's this? You're going to the lifelines again? What are you two doing here? So, I just wanted to show off what happens if you, uh... Yeah, that guy says, are you going back again? What? There might be other dialogue I'm missing, but I didn't notice anything when I was checking around. Like I said, if anyone ever finds something that they're interested or want me to show off, I'll, I'll try doing that, so. Alright, well, anyway, let's go back to... Yeah, you don't have to go through the train again if you don't want to. It just assumes you go on the train uh, again at this point. So, Because if you travel to Parma from the Lech Mines, it has you coming off the train. So, But anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. A little extra detail. This is the entrance of Lech Mine. Monsters have begun living somewhere way back there. I can't stand their noisy groans. If you manage to slay their boss, I'll give you my pass. This is my trial for you. It's sort of dark and foreboding. <laughs> it's a mine, so of course it is. You're gonna give up. You gotta give up and go home. You're joking. Of course we're going. But Java, can you stay here until we get back? All right. Show me your spirit, spirit as beginner adventurers. Well, you want to go now or do you want to rest? Yeah, sure. Let's rest, even though I don't actually need to. That's just fine. Can't adventure on an empty stomach. That's what they say. So now. Yeah, we take a we take a little rest for that. So do you defeat the boss monster? Uh, and then you can save your game. He's basically a save point at this point, so of course I defeat him. Don't be ridiculous! You'll never become an adventurer until a chance bear lies like that. Yikes, just joking, okay? I'll be off again. <laughs> Alright, let's actually go inside. Alright, into the next dungeon, the Lech Mines. Yeah, there's quite a few items in here, so make sure that you clean up your inventory. I cleaned up most of my inventory. Uh, whoops, keep pressing the wrong button. Let's see. Yeah, I cleaned up a lot of my inventory because you get like 14 items in this place. So you only need a handful of healing items. And if it really comes down to it, you can always go back to Java and rest. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it looks like we got some enemies here. Whoops. Turn around again. Oh, well, whatever. Alright, let's go over our uh, enemies. Green slimes. Uh, we, have we counted these guys before in here? So. Uh. I think so, actually. Yeah, they're the same as the, um, yeah, in the, uh, dungeon here, we can fight, uh, green slimes, baby bats, spiders, and orcs. So we've already fought green slimes before, so I don't actually have to talk about them, so. Alright, see, that guy's gonna go after Sue. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's just right, right there, so. Alright, let's go after... Yeah, let's try to take out the guy who's gonna hit Sue. So. Looks like he's casting a spell. Let's go and just defend for now. Anyone go after me? Nope. 
Ah, they countered me, but I, I, I blocked. No, why would you do that? Alright, yeah, we'll hit that one in two weeks already, so. Ah, my throw went up level. Yeah, weird how throw raises up your strength. I guess that kind of makes sense now that I do that. Alright, we won! Yeah, our weapon skill went up, so. Yeah, if you want to make more Sue a tank, you could give her the mace instead and have her bash things, so that way she could survive a bit more. But, like I said, there's a reason why I'm not going into that, so let's show off the spiders. Ooh, first treasure. Alright, first treasure is... Work clothes. Alright, I don't think that's... Uh, most of the stuff in the, the shops are actually better than what we can get in a lot of the, uh, the dungeons for a while, so which is kind of sad, but that's just how it is. Yeah, see... Uh, oh, slightly better than Sue's. Yeah, sorry. Don't want to put on your Sunday best anymore. Time to put on some thick clothes. Gross. Alright, where's the... There's the spiders. Alright, let's go over the enemy for... New enemy here. The, uh... Um, spider. Spiders! A legion of spiders! Alright, they can come in groups of either three or... Three spiders and two green slimes, or three spiders and two baby bats, or three spiders and an orc. They have no elemental weaknesses, strength immunities, or weapon immunities that, that I'm aware of. They drop three experience and six gold per piece. They have 36 HP, and they can use the sticky fluid uh, ability, which will slow us and stick us to place, and then you can use a regular attack on us as well. So, I also know that we're doing anything crazy, so we can smack them all the same. So we can probably get to him fast enough. There we go. Yeah, nothing. Like I said, the early game, there's really not much challenge to the to the uh, battles and encounters. So I'll try to show off them winning more often, so you can get their like text or dialogue. They get a level up pursue. Awesome. All right, let me go back to my uh, hand, uh, my map for this. Although this map's pretty straightforward for the most part, so. All right, here's another item here. Here we get a, hand, a grenade to blow up your to blow up your enemies. There's more baby bats there. Oops. I actually wasn't trying to get attacked, but that's just how it is. I won't be able to hit him fast enough. We'll see, though. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, the sonar ability put me to sleep. Man, they're, they're smacking on Sue, huh? Yeah, you can use your one-shot them. All right, we won! I know, like I said, here in the future, I will start cutting out battles because they're basically the same thing. But anyway, get a level for Justin. Raises uh, strength stat and everything like that. All right, let's keep going. All right, here's a dungeon, dungeon thing, just to tell us where we're at. All right, here is this has 60 gold pieces, and then there should be another the dead end here. Ah, new. Anyway. Should be something over here too, but we can't. Get that. There we go. Crawl on through. Uh oh. Or sorry, the the gold we got earlier was 20 gold pieces. The one we're about to get is 40 or 60. I mean, sorry. Yeah, Justin with the dax should be able to just one shot everything. So, or I mean the bats anyway. Way to be. Oh yeah, just. Sue's getting enough levels where she can one shot everything too, so. Pretty easy, right, puppy? I want to listen to the music more, but I know I can't, so. Oh well. Now anyway, let's grab the money here. Right, 
Let's go back. Yeah, there's no reason to get here other than to kill the monsters and uh, honey. Well, I said since it's just these these couple of battles are just me pressing pressing A to win. I don't have to worry about it. What a finch! It almost said he sounded like what a finch. I know he said cinch, but you know. Yeah, we're not getting much experience here because these guys are pretty easy, so. I guess this will make up for me doing almost no level grinding uh, previously, but. I'm not trying to level grind if I can help it. Like I said, this game's already easy enough as it is, so. Alright, let's go back the way we came. Alright, next treasure should be more gold. It's kind of weird hearing this uh, noise and everything. I don't know if there's another. That is a, um, I think that's 20 as well. Let's see. Yeah, 20 gold pieces, so. There right, should be some stuff over this way. Uh-oh, there's the orcs. Orcs, spiders, spiders in my hair. All right, let's check the treasure here. Yeah, what do we got inside this little bad boy? We got a rubber rubber boot here, so it's a footwear. Also, here we get grenade, another grenade. So, all right. Up. Should have turned around to attack him. <coughs> oh well, not a big deal. All right. Looks like we got orcs and spiders here. So, orcs and nether, you know what I mean? So, let me go over orcs really quick. Orcs uh, come in can group groups of a, a single orc or two orcs. Or an orc or three spires, so we obviously had the biggest group because the spires nearby. They have 70 HP. Uh, they're not. A, they have no weaknesses, strengths, immunities, or weapon immunities, so don't have to worry about that. They have four experience, and they uh, drop four experience, and they drop 20 gold pieces per attack. They have a. Uh, the moves are either right your attack with a weapon, or they can bite you. It tried to bite me. Uh, okay, so let's see. They're all going after us. Might have to. I have to go with guard in this case, maybe. Since they're all, since they got the first hit on us. So. All right, was I end up going after Sue? You, ooh, you were. Ugh. Uh, I could try to avoid you if I could. Uh, but he might hit me because I'll have to run through the enemies. He might smack me while I'm doing that. So. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it anyway. Ah, she did avoid. Nice. All right, let's hit. Uh, let's see if I can hit you before. Uh, probably not. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of the spiders first. Oh, we don't want you sticking us in place. So. I said that the spider uh, dodge or the dodge. Ow! Yeah, the works are pretty heinous. Look at that. He did like 12 damage to me. Okay. I have to actually heal with Justin. He's taking quite a bit of uh, quite, quite a bit of damage. Um, with a critical. Nice, low, excellent. Up, so. Ow! Yeah, bit me. He bite bit me. All right, we won. Yeah, that hurt me pretty badly. So, oh well. All right, let's, let's see. I'm max level three now, right? I think. I probably should swap. I took all my weapons off, so I can't really swap it out now. But let me take a look at my. Whoops. I keep pressing the circle button inside the X button while I'm checking my moves and everything like that. So, yeah, three. So I want at least two more levels of axe uh, for an ability you get with the, when you have the axe equipped. So, yeah, you guys are fast. Look at that. Uh. Okay, there's the other gold. I believe that's 20 gold as well. Oh yeah, that's it for all the new new enemies in this place. So. Yeah, it's 20 gold, so. Man, these, these monsters keep popping up like gosh darn jack-in-the-boxes. Alright, I 
think it's pretty straightforward now. Yeah, yeah this the mine is pretty large, but most well it depends on the I guess it depends on the mine you go to. Alright. I like the music of this place, very ominous. There's more uh, green slimes. Alright, that should be twenty gold as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the rubber boots. Sorry about that. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's a, like I said, I play other games other than these, so sometimes it's easy to mix it up. But anyway, this gives you uh, 20, one defense and 20 move instead. So depending on how you want uh, depending on how you want to move or whatever, this might might be better for your defense stat. Or or if you want more moving around. It really depends. Because um, uh, sometimes the enemies might now keep the boots I've got. Whoa. Let's take a look at where we're at. So, looks like we got a blocked off point here. So, yeah, most of the music in this game is very, very funky or whatever you want to call it. You know, in terms of like uh, the music type or whatever. So, all right, there's an item down there we can't get yet. All right, that was uh, 20 gold pieces. And there's a weapon down there for us, but we can't reach it yet. To find a way, find a way down, down to Goblin Town, or down, down the, uh, um, down to the next level, or whatever. So, okay, wait, wait. Yeah, the only problem with the map is uh, the way I have a map and others have a map down. It's kind of could be kind of a bit confusing because the way it works. I mean, it's not too terrible. It's just you know, if you're not paying attention, you know. Look at that, just, just slimes want to attack us everywhere. Slimes, spiders. Okay, well, anyway. All right, let me go back. There it is. I was looking for this other item, too. Yeah, this one should be a uh, miner's hammer. Now, right, let's take a look at that. All right, hammer used for mining. That's definitely a stronger weapon. Yeah, that would raise up our mace stat a bit. Oops, wrong button. Let's see, the mace is for HP and vitality. We could definitely use some HP, so maybe I'll equip that for a while. Because we're not going to... Uh, when you hit a certain weapon level and you we defeat weaker monsters, your uh, level up will be considerably lower than what it usually is, if that makes sense. Okay, let's go. Let's go back over there because I know there's a couple items I can. Uh -oh. uh. I mean, I could fight most of these guys and then run run away and come back, but you know. That one, whatever. Not a big deal. They'll let me get some weapon levels for the the hammer. So hit it with a hammer, even though it still looks like a mace. That guy had more. Oh, that's right. He has a. Uh, let's see. These guys are a little bit tougher than the other slimes. Um, yeah, let's hit this one. I was like, why is it why is it taking a second to load? Hmm. I want those treasures over there, but I can't get to those yet. Or unless I fall down. Yeah. Uh oh. What the what's this? Uh, yeah, in the game in some places in the dungeon you can actually get special uh things that let you jump or move around and stuff, so keep that in mind while looking around. Alright. That'll be a safe helm. A new helmet. We should there should be like another weapon around here too, so. Uh, there's some gold. That is 60 gold pieces for that. Yeah, this is a dead end, by the way, for those who are curious. Yeah, see. 
not every place goes into the way we want to go, so. Alright, let's grab this. It's a wobbly sword, I believe. Yep, wobbly sword. Let's take a look at that. Alright, oh yeah, the... Not very sharp. Let's see, what the Myers have? It says hammer use for Okay. And then, what else did we get? We got the uh, helmet. So, safe helm. Plus three, construction helmet. Uh, might give that to Justin since he's gotten hit quite a bit, so. Alright. Anyway, let's uh, hop on back. So. Hop on pop, they say, so. Yeah, I don't want to get, I don't want to get uh, ambushed again, so. This might, this might be the last, depending on how big dungeons, I mean, the dungeons of the game never get too crazy big, but after a certain point, I will, like I said, start off, uh, um, ah, oh, you hit the one I was working on. Oh, my defense is too high now, so you can't do any damage to me, so. What a finch. Right, pop on through. But yeah, at some point there are there will be there will be like in some games there's always like a, a chance the enemy can do at least do a damage to you, um, in the uh, um, but in this game there is a chance of like uh, they just can't hurt you anymore. So let's grab that, and we get ourselves another hand axe. So yeah, we already had one from before, but doesn't mean we can't sell it. All right, blue. Uh. All right, here I believe. Uh. Okay, let me get grab. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be that rope over there. I'm supposed to grab onto. So we'll fight these spires really quick. Why not? I could do about that, really. All right, we won. Yeah, I might have to heal here pretty soon. Did I actually? There we go. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Yeah, if you go up to these guys and press this, you'll uh, climb up a thing. And then if you press the uh, X button, you'll drop back down. So, oh yeah, let me go back. I think I actually, I forgot to grab an herb. I think that was back here. Give me a second. I was looking at my map. I was like, wait a minute, did I forget to grab? Oh, yeah. I think I forgot to grab an herb back at the beginning. Sorry about that. Actually, since I'm here, I might as well. Well, let me grab the herb and then I might go back to Java really quick and go heal. Oh, whoops, nope, I didn't want to go that way. Sorry. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way. I think I think I missed a crevice because I don't remember grabbing an herb. So there it is. Ha! Huh? I knew I forgot something. All right, yep, there's an herb there. I was thinking for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I think I think I missed an item on my notes here, and it's like, oh yeah, herb. So there we go. Okay, let me go back to Java really quick and heal since we took quite a bit of damage. So. All right, I'll do that uh, off screen. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we took care of that. Only took a second, but I thought, eh, there's no reason to show it, so. And then I head back here. And then head back that one direction we got earlier. Passageway again that we did before. Oh, watch out. Ah, they're trying to get me. Leave me alone. Alright. I think there's, isn't there, I think there's another, there's supposed to be like another spot I could actually drop down into or something like that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here's a block 
stop path or whatever. Oop, we got an item up there. But how do we get to it? How do we get that goodness? By going up here? Alright, let's grab this while we're here. Alright, this should be a wounded sal salve, so healing and all that. Let's go back down and grab this guy. And that should be a grenade. Alright, and there should be some money in here. Let me see, can I avoid you guys or not? Now it's a tambush you. Yeah, but orcs are probably the strong well they are the strongest creature in here, so this is the, these are the guys that are like the, the the worst offenders. I wonder if I could get a couple of criticals on you guys to slow you down if that would be enough. It's hard to say sometimes with the uh, with certain enemies. Then how strong are critical? Uh nah. Okay. Uh, I might be able to hit you in time before you you uh repet or uh get go after me. That's what I thought. Nice. Pretty easy, right, Pop? Yeah, if you get really lucky or can kind of, I wouldn't say guess, but if you're really good at like kind of figuring out speeds and how fast enemies react and what abilities are going to use, you can curb stomp a lot of enemies pretty quickly. That's what I like about this game, so. There's the money. Show me the money. All right, nothing else there. All right, let's go this way. Another one of these. An item we could have missed if I didn't already know where it was. But you didn't ambush me, did you? Nope. Okay. We can just attack him. No problems. They're bats. They're baby bats. Baby bats of evil. You are evil! Man, the voice actor of uh, uh, Justin really goes into the the hitting someone with a mace with a yeah. Pretty easy, right, Pop? Like he really, he really wants you to know that he he hit that guy. Yeah. yeah, sometimes the game takes a while to load, so that's why it's not immediately going off the screen, even though I'm pressing the button. So I said this is one of those games where it's a. Uh... All right, here we get the dark oak shield. Sorry, I was about to call it the dark shield, even though it's not dark. Yeah. You know. Right, let's equip that. Because, uh, uh, well, we could probably better give it to Justin, to tell you the truth. Yeah, cutting board because smells fishy, becomes the shield made of oak. Practice these guys, too, yeah. But yeah, we're almost at the boss. This actually isn't a very long dungeon, so. Let's have her hit the one in the back just in case uh, Justin yeah. accidentally. Pretty easy, right, Pop? Uh. Alright, how's your throw at this uh, Sue? I probably should switch out. I mean, because in the game, despite me not wanting to max, uh, give her like a bunch of different skills, I do want to. Uh, uh, oops. I do want to have her stats be semi-even, so... Yeah, she's already at four. Oops. Let me show her move set there. So she has two abilities now from getting, uh... From having axe, uh, or, uh, bow and mace at their levels. Is, uh... Uh, puffy kick and raw raw. When we get mace up to level seven, we get another ability. And, uh... Uh, bow we get at ten. Huh. She doesn't have as many skills as, uh, Justin. Eh, maybe she gets an upgrade later on with her abilities. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't, unfortunately, we don't have any weapons to. I'd have to unequip the mace on Justin for if I wanted to give her something. Okay, well, anyway. For now, we'll leave her on the. Uh, um, let's recover. Let's take a look at that. How to learn killer moves. Killer moves can be learned by raising the weapon's skill levels. The killer moves can be learned are different uh, different depending on the characters, weapons, and magic spells. It is important to build up the skills required in order to learn killer moves. Look under skills in the command window to determine which skills are needed to learn a killer move. Let's go. Yeah, I've already shown you that, obviously. So, 
The only problem with uh, with uh, with uh, doing saving in this game is that I it has to show up every single save slot you you committed, which is a little bit weird. Like it should it should not have to I shouldn't have to worry about that. So in the future, probably when I save, I'll probably cut that out because of how long it takes to load up the uh, screen there. All right, let's uh let's deal with this boss, whoever it is. Actually, how are we doing? On I think we're good on everything. I don't think I have to do anything weird. No, we have we're fully health health in it. Oh yeah, we were healed because I recovered, but you know what I mean. I ha didn't take any damage before that, really. Alright, let's grab a... That should be like 20 gold. 60 gold. Another 20 gold. 20 gold. Alright, where else? Uh, let's see. Ooh. Looks like we got ourselves a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a chonker here. Looks like we got ourselves a, two orcs and a, and a boss. Alright, let's do it. Well, it didn't start that off very long, did it? So, anyway. Alright, time to fight you, Mr. Boss Man of the Mine. The Miner Boss against the Orc King himself. Alright, let's take a look at his uh, stats there. The Orc King, he is a boss. He comes with the or himself and two Orcs. He has 385 HP. He has no weaknesses, strengths, immunities, or weapon immunities, or elemental immunities. He drops 70 experience. 450 gold pieces, and you can do the ability called Fire Breath and his regular attack with his axe. So, like all enemies, we want to take out, or like all groups, we always want to take out the weakest opponents first before we uh, tackle anyone else. So, let's take a look at our uh, abilities here. So, with Ra Ra, we can spend 18 SP to heal ourselves. So, this might be useful during the fight, depending on what happens. So, I do want to show off our abilities eventually, but I want to save Ra Ra for just in case if. Uh, uh, Justin gets smacked pretty heavily by these guys. So, okay, you are going after Justin. So I could probably crit you and then hit him with Justin. Nice. Oh, our base went up. Yeah, the guy took, did quite a bit of damage to us. So. Alright, let's crit you because you're going to do your bite ability, which does more damage. Alright. Uh, you're about to hit me, so let's go ahead and defend. Nice. Unfortunately, he's about to get his attack off again. Will, he's going to hit Justin. He's about to use his fire breath, though. All right, let's, let's hit, crit, crit him with, fire, with uh, Sue. All right. And then let's hit him with Justin. Now, fortunately, I haven't unlocked any of Justin's killer moves yet, except for the V slash. I could show that off. I'll show it off on the Orc King. Don't yeah. hit this guy. Nice. Ow. Uh, I might say, I'll save Raw Raw for now. So, yeah, we have to start hitting him now. All right, let's see if we can get off a... Okay, let's show off a killer move. So let's show off V-Slash. And then let's uh, crit with the... Or sorry, let's... Uh, yeah, crit with the um, Sue. V-Slash! All right, we cancel his move. Nice. Nice! Um, do I want to crit with Justin or... Probably should. Yeah, let's crit with him again to... to stop him and then we'll crit with sue again to uh get uh, so justin can get there in time yeah i didn't counter him because of that uh, uh, that's cutting it pretty close we might be able to counter him again nice yeah if you if you get this right you can just like um some enemies are don't get hit back as much with a crit it really depends on the enemy and the type they've got because some enemies will if they get crit one i'll come back a bit and then some enemies will knock back to the beginning of the wait bar but if you get a right pattern down, you can keep critting guys and they'll never get their abilities off. But you have to be careful with certain abilities because some abilities are active. Like they'll immediately ad go uh, activate as soon as they um, as soon as they get targeted. But yeah, this guy's a little bit tougher than the rock bird for sure. But nothing we can't handle at this point. He's only got 90 HP left. I probably could physically attack him. But let's try critting him just in case. There we go. Bye bye, Orc King. Big win, puppy. <laughs> I don't know why I like how the, all the enemies explode.
Just, I don't know why. Just because they can, I guess, so. Alright. Nice, a level for Justin. That uh, was like a strength, vitality, uh, and everything up, so nice. We did it, Justin. Now Java will give us the pass. What? This looks bad. We'll be buried alive. Run, Sue! Uh, why did this have to happen? All right, let's grab the sweets before we leave. I think we grabbed everything here because there's uh, 20 gold, 20 gold, 60 gold, 20 gold. Uh, uh, and there should be an item. Let's see. Oh, yeah, defense seeds here. Uh, it raises a defense seed, raises your uh, defense stat. Uh, I'll go over that in a second. There should be another item here, isn't there? Did I grab everything? Hold on. Uh, sorry, I'm looking over my notes really quick. Uh, all the money, seed of defense. Uh, no, I guess I did. Okay. Cool. I grabbed all the cash here, so. Alright, well, anyway, yeah. Oh, no, there is one more. Ah, I knew it. I like how the boss music's playing while we're running through the dungeon here. Run! Da 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 da! Da da da! Oh! What are you waiting for? This way! Get over here! Hey, it's Java! Wake up and get going! The mine is collapsing! Really use it, yeah, Jones. That was a hoot! How do we survive? Listen, our first raid adventure never gives up until the very end. But you didn't quite think about how to escape. I'm disappointed in you too. What, so we failed? But we worked so hard. Let me tell you something. A real adventurer never loses hope regardless of difficulties. Once you get to the new world of Valencia, don't forget these words and devote yourselves even more. Huh? So Java, you're... You do have a little promise. Well, let's just say you passed. Here, there, I passed to the new world. Take it, Justin. Zero pass acquired. Yes! Now I can go to the new world. All right. Wow, how cool. Uh, maybe it's my imagination, but isn't this sort of stinky? That's because it's soaked with my blood, sweat, tears, and soul. And a few other things. <laughs> uh, yuck. Listen, Justin. You have new, you have now received your wings. These wings are yours alone. My own wings? But don't forget, in times of real difficulty, an adventurer does not rely on a pass. You must rely on your adventurer's heart. Rely on your heart to support your body and move your feet ahead. Promise me, Justin, someday tell me your own adventure. Stories of a world I don't know. Now wait as long as it takes. Sure, I promise, Java. I'll be going. Thank you, Java. Is it great, Justin? Come on, we can't be we can't be doing this. Let's go back to farm, Justin. Wait, we can't be doing this? What? Um, Java, can I ask you about something? I know about that little girl, as everyone says, right? There's only one thing I can say. An adventurer walks alone. Understand, Justin? What's wrong, Justin? Let's go home. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Thanks for the pass, Java. I'll treasure it. Goodbye, Java. Take care while you're waiting. 
Well, looks like the, the true adventurous spirit is within us, with Java having uh, given us uh, our, ch our charge. Say, say, Java, you've been to the New World, haven't you? What's it like? I'll tell you. <laughs> well, you sail on a ship for a month and finally you reach the New World. An unknown world spreads out before you, but always accompanied by dangers that could lead to death. There are just swarms of horrible monsters, nothing like the ones who would gobble you up for lunch. Well, just make sure you don't become a delicious monster's lunch. <laughs> Boy, I tell you something. The new world has men with the same burning soul as me. There's a place that attracts men with a burning soul and adventure. I mean, adventure society. If you have some trouble, be sure to go there. I'm sure they'll help you. Wow, the adventure society? Good. As soon as I reach the new world, I'll go there right away. This past contains my blood, sweat, tears, and souls, and a few other things. Be sure not to lose it. It's sort of stinky, though. But thank you, Java. All right. Let's see what let's see what the item looks like. Ah, wrong button. <laughs> I keep in the wrong button. All right, I think it's in the yeah, it's in the other. The steamer pass. Ticket to the ship to Lencia. You know, I've never actually had my inventory full when he gives it to you, so I have no idea what happens. It might automatically get sent to storage or something like that, so. But anyway, uh, defense seed that we got in the cave gets us plus one to vitality. So give it to whoever you're using. I would suggest Justin or later companions, but uh, Justin's the most likely candidate, but there'll be others later. Spoilers, we'll have other companions in this RPG adventure. So. All right, well, with Java giving us the steamer pass, our, our road is clear to the future. We must now get on the steamboat and head to Alencia. But what will the people in town say? How will we break it to our mom? And does a truly an adventurer walk alone? Find out next time in the next adventure, uh, next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.